Today we're going to be talking about the Brazil Golden Visa. This is going to be our main video discussing the Brazil Golden Visa, but we also have 29 other videos that are going to be addressing specific points about the Brazil Golden Visa. Hello there, my name is Luciano Oliveira. I am a Brazilian attorney, also licensed in Texas and California. Important to note, Brazil Golden Visa in general is understood as residency by investment. And there are two different paths. There is a path of investing in real estate, which is the one that we're going to be addressing in our videos and, and in this video as well. And there is a second one that's investment in a Brazilian company, which we will not address in this video or other videos. The reason for us to skip on the Brazil Golden Visa by investment in company is because of the complexities in terms of uh, labor laws and in terms of taxation laws. Those laws and the entire dynamic of running a business in Brazil, it's already very complex even from a Brazilian perspective. So in our understanding, it does not make much sense for a foreign citizen to get a visa depending on, for instance, keep a number of people employed, running a business that is going to be sued by former employees and trying to understand the myriad of uh, tax laws that are going to be changing almost every year. So because of that, again, we're not going to be addressing the Brazil Golden Visa from an investment company perspective. It is very important that you watch this video until the end. We're going to be uh, describing three very helpful resources when it comes to the Brazil Golden Visa that you can use to answer basically 99% of the questions we answer in our personal consultations over Zoom. I'm also going to ask you to enter into the comment section if you have a knowledge of other Golden Visas and how they compare to the Brazilian one. Without further ado, let's discuss about the Brazil Golden Visa from a real estate investment perspective. The bottom line is you're gonna buy a property in Brazil, you gotta be a qualifying property, and this property should be of at least 1 million reais in most of the country, except the North and the Northeast. For the North and the Northeast, a property for 700, thousand reais will suffice. Important to note that this number may increase in the near future. We are recording this video in, in 2023. There is a new administration and this new administration is known for being tough on immigration and particularly foreign citizens. So there is a very good chance that this amount is going to be increased in the near future. So what kind of properties can you buy? You can buy urban properties. So if you buy a tract of land, if you buy a farm, if you buy a piece of land, in the Amazon. Any rural property will not qualify for the Brazil Golden Visa. So you gotta buy uh, urban property and you're gonna need the deed for this property. Unfortunately, in Brazil, it's not uncommon for people to sell possession-only properties. So because of the costs incurred in issuing a deed, you know, the transfer taxes, a lot of people, they are gonna cut corners and they are not gonna get a formal deed. And then in the future, when they need to sell the property they don't have the deed and they are going to sell as a possession only. So those properties they are not going to qualify for the Brazil Golden Visa because they don't have a deed which in Portuguese we call registro or registro geral do imóvel and this is one of the main requirements for your application. We've been seeing a number of times when people schedule a consultation and then they say listen I bought like these three or four properties they are over I don't know a couple of million reais and now I want to apply for the visa. And then we ask for a copy of the deed and then they say, oh, you know what? Like uh, there is no formal deed, but I have uh, the contract. I have even, I don't know, like a finance or the projects I'm going to develop over there. Nothing of that is going to help if you don't have the deed. So the deed is a pretty firm requirement for the property. You can buy uh, properties that are in the market already and you can also buy off-plan or pre-construction properties which is uh, a kind of uh, a common in Brazil and sometimes even represent a good uh, opportunity. So although you can buy a pre-construction company you cannot buy a plot of land and do the development yourself because one of the requirements is that you're gonna invest, you're gonna pay for the property over 
a million reais. And what we see happening is some people, they're gonna buy a plot of land for 500,000 and then they are gonna spend 500,000 in construction. And they are gonna say, listen, I was very careful. I, I took care of uh, saving all the receipts and so on. And that's not gonna uh, work because the second main requirement for this visa application is to show that you sent a payment to the seller of the property for the amount required, right? So if you bought a plot of land for 500,000, you're not gonna be able to show that you sent it to the seller one million reais. And therefore, uh, this property is not gonna be good for the application. Regarding the timeline, usually to buy a property in Brazil, it's gonna take you like 60 to 90 days as a foreign citizen between you make an offer until you get the deed. After you get the deed, you can then apply for the Brazilian uh, residency through the Brazil Golden Visa. And this application is gonna be reviewed by the government in up to 30 days. Usually the government is gonna ask or for some clarification or additional documents and a new period of 30 days is gonna be set up after you deliver whatever it was required from you. And you have 30 days to deliver what is being required. So usually the application itself may take between 60 to 90 days to complete. After your application is approved, you're gonna get a residency for four years. It's called temporary residency in Brazil. So you have four years to stay in the country. You don't need to stay uh, for the whole time. And uh, actually, as we speak, you just need to stay 14 days for every two years. So you're getting four years and uh, for each two years, or you're gonna get two periods of two years. For each two years, you need to stay in Brazil for 14 days. It doesn't need to be consecutive. So if you have like a seven day vacation in Brazil per year, you're gonna be good in terms of keeping your golden visa. After four years, you can then apply for uh, the permanent residency. In Brazil, technically it's not permanent. They call it like undetermined in a sense that there is no uh, limit in time, but they don't wanna say permanent because if uh, you sell the property, they would uh, take your residency away. So that's why they don't call it like a permanent residency. Instead, they just call it undetermined. This is important for you to understand. Some people, they wait for the four years because when you apply for uh, the permanent residency, you need to show that you're still the legal owner of the property. But right after that, they are gonna sell the property. Right? In our experience, most of the time, the immigration is not gonna be checking the records, but later on, let's say, if you're gonna apply for the citizenship, they may ask you for a proof of ownership of the property during the entire period of time that you've been in Brazil. So our advice is keep the property, don't sell after you get the permanent residency, because if you wanna apply for the citizenship later on, you may need to prove that you still own the property. In terms of timeline to acquire citizenship, it, it would be something like this. So you're gonna buy the property, you're gonna apply for the Brazil Golden Visa, you're gonna get a first period of four years, which is the temporary residency. After this period of time is done, is expired, you're gonna apply for the permanent one. And then after four years of permanent residency in Brazil, that's when you can apply for the citizenship. So to acquire the citizenship it is actually quite easy. Main requirements are gonna be four years as a resident in Brazil as a permanent resident. You're gonna have uh, to present, uh, you know, criminal records for both abroad and in Brazil as well. And you're gonna need to speak some basic level of Portuguese, okay? There are other minor requirements, but the main ones are, are those. And as you can see, it's not difficult to acquire the Brazilian citizenship. Please like our video so other people can find this tip. And uh, regarding the three resources I told you about, they are linked in the description below. They are our FAQ, where we answer most of the questions that uh, people interested in the Brazilian Golden Visa have. We also have the resolution number 36, which is a, a regulation from the Brazilian government explaining the requirements for the Brazil Golden Visa. And there is also a regulation number 46, which was issued a couple of years ago and made some changes changes to the original Brazil Golden Visa laws. The main changes in law, so you can know, it's the requirement for 14 days every two years, so you just need to be in Brazil 14 days for every two years. There 
was one of the changes and the second change was you need to keep the real estate property forever as long as you're gonna be using those visas and don't forget to share if you have a knowledge of other golden visas around the world how do you think the brazilian golden visa compare to these other ones again i hope you like this video and see you in the next one